uh, a bit of a different video today. So today would have actually been my first exam that I sat. It would have been my first psychology A-level paper. Uh, but obviously I'm not sitting the exams this year. If I obviously get like the predicted grades that I want from my teachers. Um, but I thought, because I'm sad and I want to experience exams, I'd go back and do some exam practice. But I've decided not to do the A-level exam papers, like past A-level or specimen papers, because I've pretty much done all them, and though I probably won't get 100% correct on them if I was to go back and do them now, because I have had quite a while off, and I didn't get 100% on them when I was doing them in practice, um, I thought I'd go back to GCSE level, see if it's completely different, see if it's similar, see if I get the same grade as what I did at GCSE. And I thought I'd bring you along with me to try doing it. So yeah, I'm going to do a GCSE psychology paper because I'm sad.
So then, that was a lot faster than what I actually did in the actual exam. Um, I'm not sure, I definitely have got questions wrong in it, I definitely blagged some questions. And I did forget to mention earlier, I'm poor and I don't have any printer ink so I couldn't print it out so I just wrote it on paper. Um, so I'm going to mark it now and see how I did. I don't think I got an A in it but we'll soon see. So, I, do you want me to see me mark it or it's up to you? I don't really know. Right, I'll see you in a bit. So I got 46 altogether, which is not bad, I don't think. Uh, I've gone on to the grade boundaries for it, and for the first paper, which was Perception and Dreaming, you needed exactly 46 marks to get an A. So, not too shabby, I don't think. There were some like, obvious ones that I obviously wouldn't get. Like, like question 3 was about Gregory and Gestalt's Law, and I got both of them mixed up, because, to be honest, I can't remember what Gregory and Gestalt's Law are. And then there were just, like, sort of other ones where I miss pieces like uh was it the war of the ghosts bartlett was war of the ghosts i think i can't even remember i've just done it and i didn't get all the points in that because i forgot like little bits of it um but compared to like the a level papers that i've just done it was so much easier to get the marks like there was a table at the beginning and it was and it was a table at the beginning and there were five options that you had to pick from and there was a mark per option so that's five marks there that you just get because like it, see, it seemed to be there was also like a qualitative and quantitative data one later on and it was a mark per choice for that so it seems to be that tables you get a mark per x that you put in but I don't actually remember that whereas at A level it's more like a, it's like a row or a column that you get right and you get the mark uh, there was also a five marker on uh, how neurons work and transport uh, how neurons work so I got all five marks on that because I've just done it. I was quite happy though with the depth perception ones. I got all them ones which we don't cover at A level although I really when I was looking at the mark scheme I always remember my favourite one was height in a plane because we always used to do about... Um, hot air balloons and I didn't put that one down because I couldn't remember it but now I do remember it I put down texture gradient, relative size and superimposition but I sort of, I missed a mark on the relative size bit because I picked the wrong thing I sort of put the boxes larger whereas they put the t-shirt ish smaller so I didn't give myself the mark um, what 
I also lost it on the weaknesses of Bartlett because, to be honest, I couldn't remember the study really. All I knew was that they recalled it and stuff. I couldn't remember if it was a lab study. So I just sort of put, it was artificial, so it doesn't represent all of memory because memory is uh, not just reading a story, it's remembering faces. But it was more like, it wasn't well controlled because they could change, it, every person has their own individual reading speed. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that actually. I just missed out some like terms and details that I wouldn't have been able to recall and yeah I don't know what I may do another psychology paper or I may just go straight on to like chemistry and biology I don't think I'm going to do any others maybe just like the topics that I've been doing and see what the difference is but I'm quite happy with getting an A on that or supposedly but so I may see you again to sit another paper and it was a lot shorter than what my actual exam would have been today it would have been what I think two and a half hours maybe for me because of the extra time that was about just under an hour I, well all together I've been filming for just under an hour I think so hey well I may be sitting another exam in September we'll see what the day brings <laughs> okay I'll see ya